My grandfather was lived in Virginia, and he would have been what seemed to me old when I was born. I now count back the years and realize he was probably in his 50s, so he would have certainly probably been younger than I am now. He, uh, he had a little dairy farm, and he was trying to, he was attempting to run his dairy farm with purebred Guernseys. Now, <clears throat> those of you that know about dairy cows know that the Guernseys are red and white. Look similar to a, a Holstein, but, or a red and white Holstein maybe, but the bulls of all dairy breeds tend to be really unpredictable. So this the story I'm going to tell you right here is two stories rolled into one. Uh, Grandpa had uh, a Guernsey bull that he kept in a stall. In them days they would put a spring in the bull's nose and then whenever they had a cow <clears throat> that was in season they'd go to the stall they'd reach in with a hole that had a hook on the end and they'd get a hold of that ring and they could lead the bull that way down <clears throat> down the alleyway to to the cow and then once um, she'd been serviced they'd take him back to the stall. Well somehow this bull got grandpa in the grandpa was doing something and the bull got grandpa pinned in the corner of the stall and he had he had a little most of those Gurgis have little crowbar horns. Kind of a lot of dairy breeds have have are, are naturally horned and people Dehorn them, of course, but back then wasn't much of that going on. <clears throat> and Grandpa grabbed a hold of those two horns, and Grandpa was a small, kind of a wiry man, really tough, tough-minded guy too. And he held, held on to those horns, and that bull had him in the corner. And he said he fought with that bull, trying to. He said he was he'd hang on to those horns until until he thought he couldn't last another second and somehow he'd find the strength to hang on a little bit more. He said if that bull hadn't had those horns that were shaped just that way, he'd have killed him several times over. Uh, in those days, and even when I was young, I we would hear about a dairyman once in a while that was killed by their herd bull. So that wasn't uncommon at all, and, uh, and it still happens. But um, Grandpa hung on and hung on, he was, he was praying and fighting for his life, and he said he really, he really didn't think he was going to get out of there in one piece or alive. Somehow the, the hard man heard the ruckus going on, and he come, he come running and threw the door open, and somehow managed to distract the bull. I don't know if they got the bull to come out of the stall. Somehow he managed to gra get Grandpa drug out of there, and uh, Grandpa said that was the. The closest shave he had have ever had with, in that kind of a deal with a with a bull.